Hello amigos, what's going on? My name is Seabass and in this episode I'm going to build my first FPV drone. Okay guys, I really spent enough hours in the simulator and I'm really excited to go out and fly in a real drone. So before we start building the drone, I have all parts here uh, together and I'm going to show you which parts you need if you want to build your own drone by yourself. First of all, we need the frame and the frame is, uh, yeah, there are more parts. We have uh, like the bottom plate, top plate, uh, four arms, a lot of screws. The frame is basically the main part of a drone. So there are a lot of frames out there, but the frame I'm using is the TBS Source One. I choose the TBS Source One because on the TBS website you get the TBS Source One as a bundle. And actually in the beginning you don't have to think about which parts are uh, fitting together, you just get the bundle and get almost everything you need uh, for really quite good price. I think uh, the TBS Source 1 bundle is around 200 bucks. The only things you need besides of the bundle is a receiver for your radio controller and I think some battery straps and of course batteries. But that's really it. The next thing we need are the motors and the motors are looking like this. Uh, we have four of them, of course, um, each one has three cables and these cables are connected to the ESCs. So as ESC we have a fly color uh, Raptor Slim and the motors are the TBS Master Pilot 24KV. To be completely honest, this is my first drone, I don't have too much knowledge about it so I'm just uh, happy that all the parts are fitting together somehow and I'm really happy when this drone can fly in the end. The ESCs are important because they give the motors the, the speed they need and uh, basically yeah, translate the signal from the radio uh, to the flight controller into the motors. We have four of the ESCs because each motor needs one and the ESC is connected to the flight controller. As flight controller we use the flight color F4 PDB. This is this little one here. This is the flight controller, basically the main part of the drone. Everything is connected to the flight controller and yeah it's like the heart and the operating system of a whole drone of course we need a fpv camera and here we have the tbs 00 v2 this is this small camera uh, it's also part of the tbs source one bundle and we have the vtx so the video transmitter and for this we use the tbs unify pro and also the TBS Unify Pro Linear Antenna. You need the VTX to get the FPV signal into your Googles. So we have this small video transmitter and uh, antenna. And of course we have propellers and I ordered just a lot of propellers different ones because I have no idea which one are good I just um, know I will destroy a lot of them because just in the beginning you will crash a lot so these are just only around three euros so it's it's okay this were basically all parts of a TBS Source 1 bundle. The only thing you need in addition is a receiver and I got the TBS uh, Crossfire Nano. This is this little one here. Nano is really really uh, saying what it is because it's fucking small. This is for the receiver, the antenna. Got the TBS Crossfire Nano because, 
because I also got the TBS Crossfire for my uh, Tenaris. So this is the only system that supports quite good long range and and as you all know my main goal with this whole FPV thing is to get cool cinematic footage that uh, only FPV drones are able to capture. So I definitely need to fly long ranges and with the TBS Crossfire you can fly like I think around 5 kilometers or something uh, I read somewhere. I'm not that sure but without the TBS Crossfire it's more like a toy and you just can fly in a range about 50 to 100 meters maybe and uh, that's definitely not helping me so I need a long range system and the TBS Crossfire is exactly uh, what I need. Last but not least we need some battery straps to tighten up the battery and of course some batteries and I got the Tattoo R-Line uh, with 1500 milliampere. That's actually it to bring the drone up in the air. Of course later on when we fly with the GoPro we also need a GoPro mount but these are pretty rare at the moment and I need somebody with a 3D printer who can print me one of these things. So we build the drone first, get it in the air, let's see if it's uh, gonna fly. I just showed you all the parts you need to build your own FPV drone and as I'm really excited to go out and fly, uh, I would say we just start building this thing. And just a short disclaimer, I, uh, this won't be a tutorial or anything like this because this is my first time ever building this thing. And uh, maybe we do a tutorial when I got some practice on this. But for now, let's throw in some B-roll. Okay, I finally made it. This is my first self-built FPV drone. And to be completely honest with you, it was much more difficult than it just looked in the video. It took me around 5-6 hours I guess. And yeah, I, I just so I connected everything right to the place it should be. And I hope it's somehow able to fly. So I would say we're gonna try it out just in the next video so subscribe to this channel with notifications on and I see you next week